what is happening guys Martin Martin is back again you know where we are so let's get into it so guys I'm trying out some new equipment so just bear with me as we go through hopefully this won't necessarily move too much but at the same time I'm trying my best let's see how it goes so anyway guys if this is your first time to the channel as you do know the spiel please do not forget to comment like and subscribe if it's save you some time and some money anyway just touching base with respect to these fragrances now um the first thing is obviously is this one as you see probably from the um uh title which is Bleu de Chanel the original EDT which came from ultimately Chanel and at the same time we have this one which I purchased recently actually on sale um which is the Bleu de Chanel or the Parfum concentration now there is a difference guys I know people have done differences uh different videos in respect of what their thoughts are I've got my own opinion on it so obviously I'm giving you my perspective on some of these higher class sort of fragrances in a sense or designer house fragrances niche fragrances so it's not just purely zara because there's no point there's more to life than just following one house um however these fragrances in my opinion i would highly recommend guys if you've never tried anyone before i would highly recommend that you get a sniff of them and um, but i say there are differences so i'm just giving you my quick comparison with respect to my thoughts on these two uh particular fragrances now for me the order parfum is a bit too expensive it's a little bit too how can i say it's too much for me for what it is i mean 100 mils costing like over 100 pounds for what that is i personally would probably go and draw for um again don't want to necessarily say it, but i'm going to go and draw for something like this parfums de mali i'm going to pay the difference but this smells so good oof even now i smell it oof my gosh so ultimately guys for me once a fragrance or a designer fragrance is getting to a certain price point i personally will probably hang on and go and actually go to the next level and probably take it to niche level rather than staying with maybe a designer house however the um fragrances from um again roughly the 100 pound range or maybe 80 pounds plus you can tell the difference between that and a niche fragrance i personally will say however when it comes to chanel you're still getting quality you're still getting luxury um for what you're paying and i do believe i think that these are actually worth it but at the same time it depends where you are in respect of the stage of your fragrance progression in the stage of maybe where you are in respect of maybe in your life and what you're looking to do um, and again maybe also your age as well so there are a few things to take into account when it comes to these type of fragrances now again this is probably like my third bottle of the uh blue chanel edt which i think again this is 100 mil and um, i think i only paid about 55 pounds for this in uh, the airport as well so ultimately guys you can probably get it seems a bit of a front concept to be talking about airports for some people but you know um ultimately guys usually um if you get these in like duty free it's relatively cheap and um, this is probably lasting me probably about mm, nearly a year or so um, and you can see how much juice i have left in there it's not one of those fragrances that i really you know go for very often but at the same time when i wear this and i'm around um individuals i do get compliments um obviously things are changing somewhat in the moment in time this moment in time but i do get um compliments with this one however i recently purchased this one which i purchased from debenhams in the uk um managed to pick this one up now for, for i think it was about 80 pounds i have some other additional discount things that i've relied on i was able to use that and get um it for 70 pounds which i think is really good for the oil profound concentration so you can see how much juice i've got in there this is pretty much just a, a brand new uh type of um bottle and i believe yep this is the box it came in so ultimately as you see uh other farm poor arm um not really anything for th particularly different in respect of the bottles really um when i'm having a look at them maybe they've changed maybe the the um no the bottles are pretty much the same um maybe it's just the time it was released but ultimately as you can see all the on the bottom however key information for you guys so price point yes you're going to pay more for the other um you know this information is nothing new it's just my perspective on it but you're paying more more for it do you get really money's worth and again i'm going to say there is a difference so this one seems to have slightly more of so both of them seem to have ultimately this sort of great fruit type of how could i say tonka bean very sort of even borderline aquatic i'd like to say uh type of notes going on or people talk refer to them as blue fragrances and um, i really enjoy this um fragrance it's crisp it's sharp it's fresh could easily wear it to the gym um grapefruit is in there i mean even some sort of i believe it's cinnamon or i'm just going to look at the notes as well but i can see that there's some cinnamon on fragrantica they've alluded to cinnamon some amber as well in there um jasmine some melon so ultimately the two are similar 
but I believe they seem to differ when it comes to slightly the bass notes um, in respect of potential incense and amber in the bass notes for um, the or the profound concentration and the um, EDT. Now, ultimately, guys, all I'm going to say is EDT is heavier. EDT gives more of a mature type of vibe. It's very sort of more sultry is what I would say. Slightly more in the background, slightly more chilled out. Um, this one is slightly more of a juvenile, sort of in your face. Um, I'm here, I'm ready to party. I'm here, I'm in your face. Slightly even borderline metallic, sharp sweetness. I'm in your face, I'm ready to go. This one is slightly more, I'm a little bit more adult. I'm a little bit more mature. I know I'm here. My, my, my bass notes are slightly heavier. And at the same time, I don't need to be the front guy. I can be the guy who's just chilling slightly more in the background or I'm part of the crowd. But at the same time, I still smell good. I know I smell good. At the same time, you're going to smell me as well. So this is the difference between the two, I would say. Um, price point is, say, 100 mil. This would cost me probably around about 50 to 60 pounds. Um, this one's going to take you probably to about 80 pounds plus. So you've got to bear that in mind. Now, if you're probably a younger type of individual, I would probably, in my opinion, suggest you stick with the EDT. Um, because I believe this one actually projects more. Um, it will stay on your skin or stay on clothes easily for probably around about, I'm getting a good maybe four hours or so, give or take four to five hours. Um, um, on skin, it will project probably for about two hours or so. And then after that, you'll probably start to die down. Um, this one, however, is slightly different. This one won't project in the same way. Um, the other perform concentration doesn't really, it's not beast mode. If this one was, I'm not going to say beast mode, but if this one was slightly more of a projection monster, as I say, this one's slightly more in the background. This one's slightly more chilled out. So don't really expect too much in respect of projection. The difference, however, that I seem to notice between the two of them is that, again, this, the actual nature of the fragrance itself is still got the DNA from the um, Bleu de Chanel, but it seems to be slightly more, as I say, matured in the or the profound concentration. I think the profound concentration is a bit too dry from what I smell. Um, I didn't think it would necessarily give off any projection at all. And... You know, if you're spending over £100 for something, it's nearly like a skin scent. You think to yourself, what is the point? But ultimately, with this one, guys, um, I do like this one. Um, would I buy another bottle of it? I don't necessarily think I would for what I do at this particular stage. Um, I got it on discount, and that's probably the reason why I bought it. However, the EDT is something, in my opinion, not everybody likes it, but EDT is a little bit more screechy, a little bit more in your face, a little bit more like, I'm here, I'm probably more of a party sort of guy. This would probably be my first point of call compared to other perform. Or the perform will be more for casual evenings, um, chilling with your lady, Netflix and chill, you know, definitely in a date night scent, definitely slightly more of a, how could I say, you know, even if you're going to the corner shop or doing what you need to do, this one will be fine for that one. If you want to project and you want to be a little bit more abrasive in your face, you know, a little bit more like I'm here, I'm here to party and, you know, I don't see why not. Bachelor type of fragrance, definitely get one of this ones, I would say, guys, the EDT, in my opinion. Non-stop compliments I've had with this one. Unfortunately, with COVID, I can't necessarily do the proper testing I would like to do with the uh, Blue Chanel or the Parfum because we're just not in that set of circumstances as I would normally be. I just don't even know how this one would, would really go down in the high heat because I've not had opportunity. But this is, um, as I say, easily wear this for interim, winter, water, interim. Easily wear this for winter, autumn, easily probably even wear this for summertime uh, in the evenings. And I think you'd be fine, but at the same time, it will project a little bit more. This one is slightly heavier, as I say, with all the perform concentration. So again, it's a little bit difficult for me to say because, again, I could spray it and I won't really know I'm wearing it. That's what I find with this fragrance. So you can have it on your skin. Maybe you'll get about two to three hours, as I say. Easily with this one, it will project a lot more, but this one doesn't really project as much. This one seems to be a little bit more chilled out, a little bit more, as I say, more of a mature type of fragrance. But in a way, it's unfortunate this one doesn't project as much, but I actually prefer the smell of this one because, again, this one seems to be a little bit more, as I say, sultry, defined, a little bit more... It's masculine, but I want to say a little bit more, um, um, how can I say, accomplished as a smell um, compared to the EDT. But the EDT will project and give you a little bit more of a scent trail. Um, the Siage is definitely there on both fragrances. Easily, if you spray this in a room, um, you know, and I walk away, come back. Spray this in your car, for example. Spray it on you um, before you go in your car and you'll notice the Siage. The, the smell remains in the car um, or remains in the room, I found anyway, personally, um, on both fragrances. But again, the scents do slightly differ. And again, it's a starting point, EDT. But then again, slightly more mature, um, definitely with the profound concentration. Between the two, 
personally, as I say, it just depends where you are. I don't think there's any right or wrong necessarily. It depends what you're doing. If it's club, party time, I would personally will stick with EDT. If it's slightly more date night, chill out, let's say Netflix and chill, all that other stuff, stick with the other profound concentration. And that's really what I would say about these um, two fragrances. Fantastic. I love them. I am definitely going to say my collection. This one probably lasts me a very long time. And um, this one will be one I probably... You can see how much juice I have left in that as well. So I will use this one up all day long and I'll probably buy some more as well. Um, easily use this one for the club, especially if you're dancing like I am. This is definitely one to keep on deck. Definitely. Mm. My compliments is just crazy, guys. Crazy. Fortunately, again, COVID, I cannot get this tested. I cannot. It's one of those things. I'm going to have to ask my uh, housemate what she thinks about it. But anyway, guys, so please let me know down below if this saves you some time, some money. As I say, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm just giving my personal opinion. You know, there's loads of guys out there, Jeremy Fragrance and Brooklyn Scent Lover and all those guys. You know, they give their opinions. But the UK guys, you know, there's only a limited amount. There's quite a few of them in, U in uh, Manchester that I've seen that I'm aware of. At the same time, I'm not at that level. So I'm giving my honest opinion, guys, from average Joe who's buying the fragrances. And I'm just giving you an idea as to what my thoughts are on them. So you let me know, guys, which one do you prefer out of the two? Would you say it's the other perform concentration or the EDT? Which one do you think is value for money? Personally, I think they're both value for money. But I think it very much just depends on where you are and the stage that you're at in your life and what you're trying to achieve with wearing these type of fragrances. I know Zara has released a... Um, um what people say like a blue fragrance and um, i have smelt it but unfortunately for me it just didn't last very long so i just didn't see the point in necessarily doing a review of it at some point maybe i will just to give you a bit of a comparison um as an entry level for people who aren't really too sure what to buy but anyway guys i hope this has saved you some time some money as i say please not, do not forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video let me know down below in the guys in the comments as well have you checked out either of these ones you also own the older perfume what do you think of the order perform concentration? Let me know, guys, and see you in the next video. Ciao. Oh, yeah. Woo. Woof. Man, this thing's supposed to turn off. Boy.